you want to go ahead and go to filter right at the top and go down to the neural filters. Once you've loaded up, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and go to the one that will say depth blur right here. Now, if you've never used this one before, you want to first of all, go ahead and click on the cloud icon to download this filter and you can then go ahead and enable this filter. We can then go ahead and go to the right side of the screen, scroll down and you'll see the options available which you can modify. We're going to start on the very first one which is the focal range. Now this one is really important and the easiest way to explain this is think of it as a camera. Anything that is up and close to the camera will become focused and anything in the background will become blurry. So for example, if we start to increase this to something like 50, you will now see that the focal range will go a little bit more further out and anything where the trees are is when it's going to start to become more blurry. So we have all this area right here, which is still in focus. So personally, I would recommend to set this one to something like zero, just because it's going to focus on the person a lot more than the background. Underneath this, we have another important feature. So what this one does is if you have it unticked, it will basically make it so that the image is blurry on the edges. So the filter or the option is designed to prevent this from having blurry edges. We can then scroll further down and you will see there is some more options right at the bottom here. So we have the blur strength, haze, temperature, tint, saturation, brightness, and grain. Starting off with the very first one is pretty self-explanatory. We have the blur strength. So how much of a percentage we want it to become blurry. Now, if we set it to zero, nothing's really gonna happen. And if we set it to something like 100, we're going to have 100% blur. So that is what I'd personally recommend to have. It just makes it so the person is in focus. Next up, we have the haze. Now the haze is very similar to the blur strength, but what this one will do is if you start to increase this to something like 100, it will make it so that the background will now have this mist effect. Now the cool thing about this is if you start to decrease the tint to something like minus 150, it will actually apply that color onto the background. And as you can see, we have this really green color in the back. But we're not going to do that and we're going to set this to zero and we're going to adjust the haze to 40%. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the temp to plus two. We're also going to set the tint to minus 10 just to make the greens stand out a lot more. We're going to increase the saturation to 20 and just increase the colors a little bit more. And we're gonna move on to the next one, which is the brightness. Now with the brightness, you can either make it darker or you can make it really bright and stick it to something like 50. And that is just going to make everything really bright. So if you wanted to, you can increase the grain. And what this will do is it will create a little bit of color noise in the background. So if we zoom in, you can see that there is some noise in the background right here. I prefer it nice and smooth, so I'm going to set it to zero. And then finally, the very last option that you have is the output depth map only. What this will do is if you tick this, it will give you a preview of what a mask would look like and what it is that it's focusing on. So as you can see, the one that is really gray is the one that is going to focus on a lot more compared to the background. So the least colored one or the more whitish one is going to be a lot more blurry. So once you're happy with your settings and you're ready to save this, you can go to output, click in here and set it to a new layer masked. Or you can set it to something like a new layer and then go ahead and press OK. And there you have it. You have your original image right at the bottom here and you've got yourself the new one that you've just created.